These days, being a celebrity means way more than having talent or a pretty face. As the saying goes, oh, the times they are changing, and that means being sensitive to social issues. Today on The Taco, we're looking at 15 celebs who definitely aren't as woke as they'd like to think. From Ariana Grande's unfortunate tattoo to fashion campaigns gone wrong, this list will feature all the don'ts of borrowing from different cultures. So stay tuned to see which celeb faux pas really hit a cultural nerve. Ari's turning Japanese. There's no better place to start than with the reigning princess of pop, Ariana Grande. Recently making headlines with an unfortunate tattoo of Japanese characters, Ari was shown that she might need a little schooling on cultural appropriation. It's clear that her latest style is meant to give a sense of Japan, but that's really no excuse for not bothering to actually learn about the culture. We know she's also been hitting the nostalgia train hard, but the 90s called and wants their random Chinese characters back. Mistaken kanji aside, though, the marketing materials surrounding her new album have featured Japanese writing as well as Ari being styled to look somewhat like Sailor Moon in her Seven Rings video. We love the aesthetic as much as the next person, but critics and Twitter have been quick to note that using another culture for marketing isn't the best look, especially when you can't tell the difference between Seven Rings and Barbecue Grill. Kim K loves braids. Like we said, the Kardashians are pretty used to controversy. Some might even say that they thrive on it. Like Kylie though, Kim's biggest issue with appropriation seems to be the way she chooses to wear her hair. Kim often rocks long beaded braid extensions. While the hairstyle itself isn't necessarily that big of an issue, the fact that she called them Bo Derek braids certainly is. Bo Derek being a blonde, blue-eyed actress who was popular back in the 70s and certainly not an icon for African-American culture. Many people of color felt that for her to categorize the hairstyle this way was discounting the long history POC have with cornrows. The hairstyle certainly didn't start in the 70s, but we have to admit Kim's hair does look pretty close to the blonde bombshells in the 1970 movie 10. However, being a mother of mixed-race children, we do applaud Kim on at least showing that these types of styles are beautiful. Selena Goes Bollywood We're not quite sure what it is with pop stars, but they seem to just love taking another culture's look. Though Selena certainly wasn't the first star to use an Indian aesthetic, back in 2013, she messed up big by using it twice. But after getting backlash about her 2013 MTV performance, which was very Bollywood, instead of changing the show, Selena did it again just two days later. We'll give her a little credit. It's not exactly easy to redo an entire performance plan in two days. We can certainly forgive her a little bit for that, right? Hello Kitty The song that shot her into the spotlight caused a pretty big stir considering she'd made the leap from a Christian performer. But we're not here to talk about the questionable lyrics in I Kissed a Girl. Back in 2013, at the American Music Awards, Katy Perry's entire performance was based around Asian cultures. Though beautifully styled and expertly performed, backlash came when people noticed that the aesthetic Katy had gone for wasn't really any particular Asian culture. Though it was predominantly Japanese, the show featured little bits from various Asian cultures, some of whom have strained relationships to this day. Critics pointed out that her outfit it alone was just a mishmash of Japanese and Chinese traditional outfits, both of which carried very different meanings. What do you guys think? Appropriation or fashion statement? High school's over, Zach. Zac Efron has come a long way from the high school musical jock who didn't even do his own singing. Like many Disney actors, his career really has taken off and the roles he's been able to take on have been diverse and mostly a far cry from his days as Troy. However, he set Instagram ablaze when he wrote Just For Fun, accompanied by a rock on emoji to describe his new dreads. We're guessing Efron didn't get the memo that white guys might want to think twice about sporting the historically Rastafarian do. While many people agree that hair should just be hair, there's no denying that dreadlocks are sacred to some people. Efron certainly wasn't embracing Jamaican Rasta culture when he decided to try something new. And oh yeah, speaking of Disney actors, Miley twerks. Miley Cyrus started out as a little bit of pop and a whole lot of country. Miley shot up the charts but also got herself in the headlines for controversy after controversy. And not least among them, her absolute obsession with twerking. The dance itself originated in the African American community, and while the community doesn't mind sharing it, watching Miley kind of fail to work it out with Robin Thicke was the final straw. She was put on blast not only for becoming the icon of the dance, but for her unfortunate choice of wardrobe. You'd think after all that, Miley would have learned her lesson, but like others on this list, she decided to sport a bindi for Pride Day. Oh no, Chloe. 
If there's one thing you can say about the Kardashians is that they always stay on brand and seem to do everything together. Chloe put her own spin on a cultural appropriation controversy though. That's right, this time it wasn't so much about hair, but something used to cover it. On a trip to Dubai, she posted a picture of herself in a burqa with the caption, Habibi Love. But Chloe wore the burqa proudly, until the internet made her apologize for it. Don't get it twisted though, there are places in the Middle East where it is considered respectful to follow the customs, and Chloe was just trying to respect the local people. However, we all know that the internet can't resist a chance to drag a Kardashian. They call her T-Swizzle. Taylor Swift is definitely used to having her names in the tabloids. From her very public feud with Kanye and with Kim to her supposed enemy owed to Katy Perry with bad blood, Tay-Tay sure does like drama. However, she's not always in control of it. After the release of her video Shake It Off, people notice some not-so-nice representation. The video goes the mockumentary route, showing various dance styles and troops as Taylor goofs around in the foreground. Eagle-eyed viewers notice that all the women twerking were people of color while all the ballerinas were white. Vanessa does what she wants. We're starting to think there just might be something about being raised by Disney. She, like the other pop stars on this list, rocked an Indian bindi in the past. We have to admit that it can be stunning, but looks aside, we're really starting to wonder why nobody learns their lesson. Vanessa certainly didn't. Back in 2016, she posted a picture of herself wearing box braids. The hairstyle is so-called because of the very square and robust appearance of the braids. It also often requires synthetic hair and is looked at as a protective style for women with thick curly hair. Hair. She did look gorgeous, but we're hoping she'll have a little more sense going forward. Halsey vs Iggy Azalea This entry might not be a surprise to anybody who has seen Iggy Azalea perform. The Australian-born rapper has had a tough time in the American media thanks to what some dub her verbal blackface. It's not hard to see why African Americans would feel wary of Iggy as she wears their clothing and speaks as though she's right out of the hood. And it's not just fans who have been upset by her perceived appropriation. Halsey, who's of mixed race, and Macklemore have both had things to say about what they feel is Iggy appropriating black culture. But being from Australia, Iggy simply doesn't feel that she's doing anything wrong. She feels she's being authentic, even if others don't. Does anybody agree? Hymns for Indian Culture Okay, we have to admit it, even we were a little shook that the Queen Bee herself is making an appearance on this list. When Beyonce and Coldplay teamed up for their song Hymns for the Weekend, people were thrilled with the unconventional collab. However, upon releasing the video, the actual song took a bit of a backseat. The video heavily features Indian motifs, with Beyonce fully dressed in Indian clothing and Chris Martin participating in an Indian festival. There were supporters, though, who said the video walked the line between appreciation and appropriation. But what do you think. Was this just too much? Pharrell makes us sad. Back in 2018, Pharrell and Adidas teamed up for a shoe campaign. It featured India and Nepal, and the collection itself was named after the Holy Festival in India. Pharrell even posed for a high-fashion Instapic absolutely covered in powders from the Festival of Colors. Many people felt that the collaboration was exploiting the exotic look of India to capitalize on a Western market. Pharrell and the brand did eventually address the issue, saying they wanted to share the inspiration with the world. Still, we think a little creativity could have gone a long way here. It's not complicated. What could be worse than a pop-punk princess desperately trying to be relevant? A pop-punk princess deciding that Japanese words are fun to say. Back in 2013, Avril Lavigne shocked her fans by releasing the highly criticized single Hello Kitty. Featuring Japanese words for what seems to be the sake of it, the song is an ode to the popular Japanese character Hello Kitty. When faced with backlash, the pop-punk princess didn't make things better for herself. In a tweet, she followed LOLOLOL with an explanation that she loved loves Japanese culture and work with Japanese people to create the video. Eventually, Vivo even removed the video. Those sources are mixed on whether it was due to backlash or piracy. My culture is not your couture. We're pretty sure it isn't all that hard to not use somebody else's culture as a fashion statement. We've all seen the my culture is not your prom dress tweet after all. One of the first to really get dragged by fans for a bad decision though was Carly Kloss. She appeared in a very Disney's Pocahontas-inspired lingerie set on the Victoria's Secret catwalk in 2012. Victoria's Secret show are generally known for their headpieces, but whoever planned this outfit apparently didn't hear that you aren't supposed to wear a headdress unless you're Native American. Carly sported a floor-length headdress with white and red feathers, much to the chagrin of the Native American community. Kylie's Cornrows 
The Kardashians are definitely no strangers to cultural appropriation, or at least being accused of it. The line can be a bit messy when it comes to liking something and appropriating it, but Kylie drew criticism when she chose to pose with cornrows on Instagram. Hair is a very touchy subject for many women of color, as it can be difficult for them to tame their locks with traditional hair products. Kylie was also accused of muddying the issues by glorifying African-American looks over their experience, but fired back with this gem. Mad if I don't, mad if I do. Go hang with Jaden or something. Those were 15 celebs who can't quite wrap their heads around cultural appropriation. Do you think they were paying homage or just not paying attention? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to The Taco for more great videos.